Hey guys, Jamaican Jazz here with a short monthly update video on Fate Embers from Chaos Dungeons in Lost Ark. If you guys saw my previous video, I'm essentially repeating the process of recording my Fate Ember drops and compiling them in a spreadsheet for you guys. With the server merge, my roster has expanded to 35 characters, all at item level 1540 or above, and I have improved the way I record my data so I can be a little bit more accurate on my findings. Keep in mind that this is data gathered from just my roster alone, so expect slight variances based on RNG elements and different character progression levels. First, I compiled a weekly table system that recorded Fade Ember Drop. This information includes the day of the drop, whether it dropped from Unrested or Rested Chaos, what the drop was, and the total amount of each drop for that week. A second table was created tracking the same drop distribution based on Unrested and Rested Chaos Dungeons, but this was primarily to track the item level distribution. The amount of chaos dungeons I ran on each day was also tracked for unrested and rested, and the total amount. Other elements that remain the same are the weekly totals and average drop rates, and I also added new elements to the spreadsheet to gather more data. I tracked the floors that each ember dropped on, as well as the total materials for that week. I also tracked card drops to see what the distribution is like. A small table was added at the very bottom that tracked the order of drops as they happened. This could potentially help in the future to identify patterns visually if they present themselves. Each individual character is also tracked, with all their values contributing automatically to the weekly total, so I can record specific data for each character for heat maps I'm planning to make in the future. This is to try and see if character seeds are somewhat plausible. I developed a consistent pattern to provide the most accurate data that I could. First, I would do my daily logins, then record my current silver on that character at a time, and what chaos dungeon I was about to run, unrested or rested. Then I entered the last two digits of the current bound leap stones on that character. So for example, if a character had 1024 leap stones, I just put in 24. I would run the Chaos Dungeons, then after finishing, I would immediately record the silver value at the time in the second box of the spreadsheet. This would calculate the difference between the start and end value of silver for that run. I would then dismantle tripods and accessories that weren't worth keeping. The final blue and red stone values is what I would input into the fields for that character for that day as well as the difference between the starting bound leap stones and the current ones. The total cards dropped for that run would also be added into the character's data. If any Fade Embers dropped, the relevant information would also be entered and automatically consolidated into the weekly table tracker. As this is the first month of recording a new data set, the sample size will be at its lowest, and I'm expecting the results to change over time to help cancel out some outliers. I plan to do a monthly update on Fate Embers for a little while to compare monthly statistics with the overall data set. For this month, I started on Breaker Release Week and ended up completing 848 Chaos Dungeons in total, with 291 of them unrested and 557 rested. That's an average of 212 a week or 30 a day. I received 103 Fate Ember drops in total, 14 from unrested and the other 89 from rested Chaos Dungeons. The overall drop rate for embers was 8.56, which is roughly 8 to 9 dungeons before receiving a drop. The average drop rate for unrested embers was 20.79, or roughly 21 dungeons for a drop. While the average for rested was 6.26, which is roughly 6 dungeons for a drop. With my current data, this suggests that rested chaos dungeons are more than 3 times better drop rate compared to unrested chaos dungeons. I made just over 109 million silver with an average of roughly 27.3 million a week and 78,000 gold with an average of 19,500 gold per week. I farmed roughly 257,000 protection and 58,000 refined protection stones with approximately 64,000 and 14,500 a week respectively. 84,500 obliteration and almost 20,000 refined obliteration stones were collected with roughly a 21,000 and 5,000 weekly average. 5,800 bound Marvelous and 1,860 bound Radiant Leap Stones were also gathered in this last month, with a 1,451 and 465 weekly average. 329 common card drops received, with 226 uncommon, 184 rare, and 66 epic card drops. The drop distribution across the three floors were relatively well distributed, with a slightly higher chance of embers dropping in the first and second floor. Here are the current percentage drop rates of each individual drop, as well as general drops based on my current data. I expect these to change in the future to be more accurate as I collect more data. Silver is at 14.6%, with 500k and 1 million silver at 6.8% drop rate, and 2 million silver at 1%. 
card experience with an overall drop rate of 16.5%, 14.6% being 2 times experience, and 1.9% being 4 times experience. Epic selectors have a drop rate of 15.5% currently, with random legendary card packs at 13.6%. Material boxes made up most of my drop rates, with a 27.2% average drop rate. Small chests made up 11.7% of the drops, while medium chests were at 10.7%, and large chests came in at 4.9%. Gold only made up 12.6% of the drops, with 1.5k coins at 1.9%, 3k bars at 4.9%, and 10k bars at 5.8% drop rate. Right now, that concludes the first month of my second set of Fade Amber data for Lost Ark. My next focus will be on collecting better control samples, so the next month of data will be only rested Chaos Dungeons. I intend to follow up with a month of only unrested data after that. I'm also going to tune up the spreadsheet a little bit and track the daily gold to blue crystal values to see if there's any correlation between that and gold drop. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and if you want to hang out with me live on my channel, it's at twitch.tv forward slash Jamaican Jazz. I got some cool projects that I'm working on in the future that I'm excited to share with you, but until then, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!